don't like to waste money and dream of making a fortune someday, these life hacks will get you a step closer to your dream. In our newest compilation of tips and tricks, we'll show you how to reuse and breathe new life into some of your old household objects without spending a penny. A deodorant stick has a very annoying tendency to run out. Our hack will show you how to get the most out of it. We'll simply need an empty lipstick tube. Turn the deodorant stick upside down and send it into the microwave for about 15 seconds. While still holding the deodorant stick upside down, carefully open it. The contents have all melted and dripped down into the cap. Pour the melted deodorant into the lipstick tube. Seal it and let it cool in a refrigerator until it fully solidifies again. Now you have a mini version of your old deodorant, which you can carry around with you. The pillow has some stains on it and the pillowcase's coloring seems boring. Let's make an original and colorful item without a single stitch. Get an old t-shirt with a funny print. Mark the size of our pillow on the t-shirt with an allowance of 5 to 7 centimeters from each side of the pillow. Cut it out. Make some cuts around the perimeter. Place the pillow between the two pieces of fabric. Join them together with some fringe strips. Our stylish pillow is done. We didn't even need to sew anything. Sweet dreams! Now, let's make a shopping bag out of an old t-shirt without any threads or needles. Cut off the neckband and sleeves of the t-shirt. These will be the handles for our bag. Make a fringed bottom on the shirt. Start forming the bottom of the bag by tying the strips together in pairs. That's a true eco bag! We don't need to buy bags for our groceries anymore. You are all ready to take a nice shower when you discover that it's leaking. What do you do? Don't go running to the nearest plumbing shop just yet. Watch our next life hack. You can save yourself some time and some money. Get a balloon. Cut off the neck of the balloon. This is what we're going to use. Take off the shower head. Put the elastic neck on the threads and put the shower head back in place. Turn on the shower and test it. It works! The water won't be dripping anymore. The balloon neck makes a nice seal. Bring out a second balloon. We'll make a nozzle for the faucet. Cut off the top of the balloon. Pull it on the end of the faucet. This is a very convenient nozzle for cleaning the sink. Old tennis balls often get bumps on them. That doesn't mean that it's game over. You'll need some very hot water. Be careful not to burn yourself. Place the ball in the water. With the help of a spoon, submerge the ball completely in water. The heat of the water makes the air inside of the ball expand and the bumps on the plastic disappears right in front of our eyes. Our ball is perfectly round again. Time to get our rackets! Ran out of liquid soap? Don't throw away the bottle and the plastic dispenser. In our next life hack, we'll show you how to turn ordinary soap into liquid soap. Get a grater and grate the soap. It looks just like coconut shavings. It's a pity that it's not edible though. Put the shavings in a glass container and add a couple cups of water. Thoroughly mix the soap and water together. Then, place the mix in the microwave for about 5 minutes. The liquid soap is ready! Pour it into our dispenser. See how bubbly it is? It's a real soap cloud in here! You can make several bottles out of one bar of soap. The cost savings is obvious. What a pretty picture! Let's hang it on the wall! But how are we going to do it? There's no hook or hole for a screw. We'll use a hook from a metal can. Get a metal can and attach the ring on top of the lid. Attach the metal ring to a frame using some hot glue. That's our frame now! A good result with minimal effort. What can you do with these colorful cocktail straws? An unusual frame for your pictures and photos. We'll need two straws. Cut off the straws to the width of the picture. Cut each straw lengthwise and place the picture between them. Pull a pretty string through one of the straws. You can make a frame of any color you want. Use your imagination. After removing an old nail, the white wall is left with an ugly hole in it. How can we fix this? We'll use some white toothpaste. Push out a small amount of toothpaste from the tube. Push the paste into the hole with your finger. Using a plastic card, sweep off the excess paste from the wall. Let the toothpaste dry. Voila! It's like there was never any nail in this wall. 
A stationary stapler can significantly help us strip a wire. Place the end of the wire in the stapler. Hold the spring of the stapler with one hand and pull on the wire with the other. One second and we've gotten rid of unwanted insulation. Usually, the net that comes with some fruits instantly goes in the trash. But not this time. Gently roll the net into a donut shape. The width of the donut will vary depending on the net. Make a hair tail and pull it through the donut. Form a knot around the net. Attach it with some hairpins for good measure. A very elegant hairstyle. Or you could use the net to wash your dishes. Look how well it does the job. Has the candle wax just ruined your table? Don't worry, our next hack will help you get rid of those wax stains. Get a white paper towel or tissue and put it on top of the stain. Give it a good press with a hot iron. The wax is melted because of the heat and then absorbed by the paper tissue. The table is perfectly clean, as if nothing happened. Who would say no to a tasty cupcake or muffin? But with just a couple of baking cups, it's hard to satisfy a big party. Are you going to go out to shop for new ones? Don't rush to spend your money. We're going to need some parchment paper. Cut out a few circles. Wet the paper with water. Place the wet paper in a metal form. Spread out the edges so that our cupcakes will end up with some pretty and neat edges. Press the paper down with a second form. Let the parchment paper dry. Take them out and marvel at our creation. We've made some pretty neat baking cups. Now we've got enough cups to bake for all our friends. Are you dreaming of that cucumber and lime freshness, but don't want your leftovers to lose theirs? Don't worry, we'll show you how to keep your fruits and vegetables fresh. Slice the cucumber into little circles, but don't throw away the little tail piece at the end. Cover the leftover cucumber with the tail piece and attach it with a toothpick. Do the same thing with the lime. This way, the fruits and vegetables will stay fresh for longer. In the next life hack, you'll see how you can reuse a soda can to peel vegetables for your fitness salad. Get an empty soda can. Cut off the top with a stationary knife. We get an original knife for our vegetables. How does it work? Put our super knife against the surface of the cucumber. Make sure that the opening is pressed on the peel. Gently press on the knife and drag it across the surface. Peeling an apple has just become much easier, but remember, Safety first. Be careful not to cut yourself. The edges of the can are very sharp. What do spaghetti and cheese have in common with a soda can? You don't know? For this life hack, we'll use an empty soda can and an awl. Cut off the top of the can. Get the awl and make some holes on one side. Now, get some cheese and our improvised grater. Now do you see where we're going with this? This grater does the job just as well as an ordinary one. Now you can always make some tasty cheese toppings for your pasta or even pizza. Your nylon pantyhose are torn. It's unfortunate, but not deadly. Especially when you've seen our next life hack. Get some old pantyhose and a clothes hanger. Pull the pantyhose on the hanger. Let's remember the last time we've cleaned the radiator. The flat hanger easily slides down between the wall and the radiator. Now we can clean even the most hard to reach places. Even the best quality sweater gets lint on them after some time. Today, we'll look at two life hacks that will help you get rid of lint on your clothes. Get a dense flat hair comb. Give the sweater a good run with the comb. The lint stays on the comb. We get a perfectly clean sweater. Or we can make a sweater epilator. Yes, you heard right. We'll need an electrical epilator. Spread out the sweater and give it a thorough run with the epilator. The lint disappears right in front of our eyes. Ran out of shoe polish? Don't panic. If you want to give your shoes a good shine, you can use a banana, specifically a banana peel. Rub the surface of the shoe with the inside part of the banana peel. Polish it with a soft tissue. Enjoy the pretty shine and don't forget to do the same for the second shoe. Is your old silver jewelry all dim and dark? Some lipstick will help solve this problem. Generously apply lipstick to the surface of the piece. Give it a good rub with a cotton disc. And it shines again, as good as new. Did you enjoy our life hacks? If so, leave a comment below which hacks you found the most useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. 
Press the bell icon and get notified of our newest videos with fun and creative everyday life hacks.